Hey, hey, indie fam and positivity posse. I'm Victor Brooks, and welcome back to the Victor Brooks Show Instagram Indie Fam series for another episode of maybe your next favorite artist. On so, you know, we're, we're we're so happy to be able to bring you artists of all genres, and because we're now up to over fifteen hundred of our independent artists, indie fam worldwide, y'all. God. We, we, and of all different genres, we have photographers, culinary artists, um, uh, comedians, you know, comedy is an art, uh, 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 visual artists, designers, artists, art, 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 art. And today we have another musical guest with us today. Uh, Viv is joining us live from Sacramento, California, Sac Town. I love that town. And, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to get into her journey. Oh, I see that she's here. And before I bring, bring Viv on, I just want to always remind that the Victor Brooks Show Indie Fam series is all about the artist and their journey. We're able, we, we want to be able to bring the artists that you see scrolling through social media and loving their artistry, such as many of us, millions of us do, but then being able to have a conversation with that artist, to see what it is that fuels that artist's soul, that gives that artist the passion for what it is that they give to us as a gift of artistry. And that's why we do it. And that's why when you take your time to come on live on a Sunday, man, thank you so much for, for each and every one of you that are able to do that. And for those who are watching on the recorded, I want to equally thank you because you've taken your time because our bigger audience is on the recorded of the feed. You know, later it's, I, I leave them up on feed as far as I know, Instagram is going to let me keep them there. Um, but I'm learning how to preserve those as well. So we can preserve, preserve those over to our YouTube channel, the Victor Brooks Show YouTube channel. Please check the those interviews from our Facebook live show, uh, where we've been able to bring artists such as Eddie Levert and Melba Moore and Bill Duke, the movie director, and, and so many others who took their time to, to join us there on that format. And this format is specifically for the artist and the that my video has paused. Hopefully I'm back on with you. But let me go ahead and try to bring in our guest today, Viv. Here we go. Get into this conversation. Once again, thank you, y'all. Thank you for joining us, both now and on the recording. Hello. Hi. I'm how the are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Let me switch it around. No problem. So I'm no problem. The right way. <laughs> right on. Right on. Thank you for taking time to join oh us my today. Oh, gosh. Thank you for having me. What a pleasure. This is an yeah. honor. I'm so excited. Oh, girl, the honor is ours. We're here with a room for, we call, as you know, our newest member, Viv, ladies and gentlemen, to the Indie Fam and Positivity Posse, you know, worldwide. And uh, Viv, you know, I was scrolling through, as I often do, and I came across your, your uh, presentation, your sponsored ad, your yeah. music. And it was, a, it was a, an acoustic that you were doing with someone else, with the, they had the guitar. But your vocals, Viv, please let, let us know. How do you explain where that realness of your vocals came from? That thing that just hooks us right in that says, I'm familiar with this feeling that Viv is giving yeah. us. Well, you know, I, I was born and raised here in Sacramento, California, but my entire family is all musically inclined. To either play an instrument or sing or do both. Um, I do play a little bit of piano, but mainly I sing. And I've been singing since I, for several years, since I was a really young child. Um, my first teachers were my aunties when they came here from the Philippines. And I've just been going at it ever since. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So you, it's in your blood. It's in, it's your in my blood, for sure. <laughs> hundred <laughs> percent. So did you have all of like the, because I know it sounds like my family growing up. So did you have like all of the, the family sing-alongs and the sitting around the, the piano yes. or the guitar and the, yes. the learning harmonies at such a young age? Was that kind of like your thing? Yeah. Every you party, know? you know, someone's playing piano, my dad's playing guitar, you know, uncle's playing trumpet. And it was every party. And then also 
there's music and then prayer too. It was like a mixture of both. Yeah, when yeah. I was I doing that, I like the you. whole family is doing. You know, it's the whole family thing. Come yeah. on, and and you know that's to me that's like an, an important ingredient. Whether whatever belief spiritually that any of us may may be coming from, I know growing up mine was Christian. So we come in and that 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 like you said that whole thing of, but that connection of artistry and spirituality, not religion, mm -hmm. but the the yes. connection of artistry and spirituality. Correct. What does that mean to you? So with me, you know, it's so funny because, like I said, I've been training forever, years and years and years. And when I was young, it's like, oh, I want to do this. I want to sing. I'm going to do this, this and that. And I had huge, like, aspirations, you know, goals, creative goals, that type of thing. But I will say I'm an OG teen mom. So I started my family super young. I was only 16. Um, I have five beautiful children, a wonderful loving oh husband. Goodness. Yeah, but because of that, it was you no know, family first. And so even though I was still training, it's kind of like my creative process was kind of put on a pause mm -hmm. so I can go to school, you know, focus on my career and really provide, survive, you know, for mm -hmm. my family. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. with the height of pandemic 2021, it's like, okay, there's a lot of self-reflection going on, you know, on. it's like during the whole, like, oh, what's going on? And it was like, I was, as a nurturing mom, a loving wife, I was giving everything to my family in a good way, you know, as yes. mom, yes. moms do. Yes. But it was at that moment last year, it's like, you know what, now it's the time to honor myself and oh. really use what God, universe gave me and really yes. go back to my roots of what I loved to do when I was a little girl, which was singing, creating music and creativity and really honor that, my gifts, and try to give back and just share my story, you know, with whomever might, it might inspire, you know? Because really, yes. it's about giving yourself. Right. Hopefully, my story can help others, you know? It's never too late to go back and do something that makes you happy, and hopefully it inspires somebody else to do the same. Come on, Vic, come on. And <laughs> we've only been talking, ladies and gentlemen, three minutes, under five minutes. And what I'm getting, I mean, what I'm getting is that when I see it, I can see your hearts going up, y'all, and your thumbs going up, and your 110% icons, not 100, but 110 going up, you know. And uh, someone said, you are inspiring me. And it's only been these three to five minutes. And th this is why. I have such a passion for this format. Artist to artist, we are a community, we're a world, like you said, we're a family of artists. No matter what language we speak, what, what, what our belief, what our, what, whatever it is, we are artists. Mm -hmm. What do you feel holistically? You gave a beautiful answer as to what you're getting into your mission. And I want to get into what you feel your personal mission of an artist as an artist is. Mm -hmm. But what do you think the mission of an artist is? Period. All of us. What's our mission as artists? You know, it's really, for me, I just go back to the question of like, because, you know, really, personally, even though I was, I'm so blessed and I was so happy, I am extremely happy, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But sometimes, looking back, there was a type of like monotony on my everyday life. And mm -hmm. it's like, okay, like something was missing, you know, even mm -hmm. though I was happy, like, but I felt like I wasn't happy in my heart. Like there was just something not right, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what can I do better? What, what do I have to offer? What's my purpose in life? What's mm -hmm. my soul path, mm -hmm. you know? And it was always music. It had always been there, but I didn't give it my all. It wasn't something that I really shared with others. And now is my time to really just put it out there and just share, share my voice, share my story. That's, That's what it. it is. What is your story? What's my your story point? really is just to never give up, you know, really just to hone your skills, you know, mm -hmm. We say maybe someone liked drawing when they were yes. a kid, but they went into accounting. You know, I'm just putting it out there, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, Like, maybe yeah. they're still, there's still something there. They forgot That's about right. it, maybe. That's but right. like, hey, you know, I, I, I used to love painting or drawing. Well, yeah. maybe we can re you can revisit that. You know, it's never right. too late to go back and find something 
that inspires you in your heart and really just go for it. You're never too young and never too old to do something and just shoot your shot and just try your best. Try your best. Try your best. That's right. You know what, Viv, you hit a heart core once again when you mentioned that pause that life can give each and every one of us. And uh, my pause, if I put it into a time frame, well, maybe about 12 years of, mm-hmm. of, of a pause. And one thing I remembered when I, when I finally unpaused, <laughs> slowly but surely, you know, uh, I realized that all of the things that growing up and other mentors and, art, art, you know, growing up around artists, mm-hmm. Is that, hey, it's never going to leave you. It's always there. You can try to hide it. You can try to put it away, da, da, da. But one thing I remember, and that hit me to the core, is that when that unpause button hit up, I said, you know what? Yeah, I see what mm-hmm. they're saying. Yeah. This is who I am. This is what I've got to do. Right. How do you feel? Like, it never leaves us. It's something no. we have to do. Exactly. The thing of it is, when you unpause and go for it, like yeah. the abundance, the opportunity oh. just yes. opens. It's like a whole yeah. nother game. It's crazy in a good way. Yeah. You know, in a good way. Because you connect with people who are on the same vibe. Like, look, I mean, I'm connecting That's with right. you right now. That That's wouldn't right. have happened if That's I right. hadn't followed this path, you know? Come it's on. just, it's crazy. Like, you know you what? There go, go those it. thumbs again. There go those thumbs. There go those hearts. <laughs> you know, you're speaking to it. And that's why I get these. And I say it all the time. Every episode, I'll get a goosebump of few because mm-hmm. it's about that connection with mm-hmm. not just the, of, of, of myself and the artist talking, but we're talking to other artists. We're talking the language of artistry. Right. And we're reminding ourselves of who we are through the journey of the artist that we're talking to. And right. then, you know, because when I started your promo, Viv, I, you know, I got the receipt from people who was, oh, I love her music. Oh man, it's taking me back to where, you know, where people like to say, that's real music. You know, it's real, it's what it is. And that's a real singer. That's that real vibe, <laughs> you know? And, and, and I understand what they're saying. I understand what they're saying, but it kind of give us a breakdown of what it is that you, your, 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 your style, of music what is it that you that you're feeling your presentation Mm -hmm. is what is your what's your style of a gift well for as far as vocals i was really inspired by whitney houston when i was younger because that was like the first songs that i learned Mm -hmm. um but i also love brazilian jazz i love jazz i love brazilian jazz i saw that you went to sao paulo Brazil that's performed right. there, right? That's, right. that's pretty that's cool. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I but, love it. Yeah, I understand. Go ahead. Yeah, but um, yeah, I studied Brazilian jazz for two years at mm-hmm. CJC, which is California Jazz Conservatory in Berkeley, and I love the melodic melodies. You know, from from like yeah. Elise Regina. It's it yeah. sounds like the Brazilian jazz sounds so simple and pleasing to the ear. Mm-hmm but it is the most difficult music to sing. And that's what I really admire. They're effortless, the ease mm-hmm. of, the, of the singing of the melodies. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I hope to bring in my own music. It's just not yeah. like telling the story, of course, that's number one, but right. authenticity and the ease of it and just really telling the story. That's, that's really mm-hmm. important through the melody and the exactly. lyrics. Exactly. Tell them the story. And you do do that. You have an interpretation of your delivery that uh, that's just that. It, it, and, and I will tell you something, ironically, like you just mentioned, and I believe in that whole things happen for a reason, spiritual thing, because uh, and, and thank you so much, ladies of Sky, for joining us today, watching in the viewing audience and much respect to the legacy of Sky, which takes me back to what you just said, Viv. When, you know, and they were mentioning the same thing in their interview about, you know, going through their their career of, of Celebrate and all of the, the, the music we grew up with of, of Sky. But you hit it right on the head when you brought it back to us that it's never too late. It's never a time. We as mm-hmm. artists, it's never over for us. Totally. We can be our worst critics. I believe. Mm-hmm. I believe that artists can be our worst critics. Did you have those times in your life, Viv, where you said, where you were your, your, your own critic, your, your worst critic? Always. Talk because to this girl. When I was younger, 
um, it's like, like I said, I wanted to do this, but it was like, well, there was that I had to, re- I felt I had to rely on other musicians or other people to help do what I wanted to do. And it's like, no, I need to be self-reliant and do this on my own because like, I can't rely on, they're not going to be there for me. You know, I need to learn this mm-hmm. on my own. So I actually mm-hmm. took classes through CJC and learned logic and learned how to do like producing and all that. I had to learn. And that's when it's like, it got serious. Like, okay, like the, the self-limiting, the, the self barriers were like broken mm-hmm. once I took that, when I made the decision to really move forward and just be self-reliant. Oh, yeah. man, you dropping some gems today because that's <laughs> like, you know, so I mean, so we can say add to the Viv list of artistry production. You are yeah. you're, you're producing as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, how, what is that vibe like, the production side for it's you? It's fun. Like, it's hard, but it's, it's fun. I really, okay. really enjoyed it. Like, one song, the song number six, the Rebirth bonus track version, that's the one I produced on my own. Yeah, oh, it's a lot of fun. It's it's different for sure, but it, yeah, it's fun. You just you yeah. really let loose and just go for it, you know. Yeah, go for it. When you sat back over the big speaker and you listened to that last play of that production that Viv just did, when you sat back, what what went through your mind? What what did you think about when you're hearing your production? I remember sitting or uh, being at the studio with a sound engineer, Brian Sound Surgeon Porter. He was playing it, and it's like. Oh my God, like I did that. Like, what? Right <laughs> you know, like, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Like, I did that. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> it felt amazing. You know, with the big, we call it the upstairs speakers, but That's it right. was just like crazy. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What, what can you give another artist right now, Viv? Because I get emails and I, mm-hmm. oh, they ins- the emails are so inspiring from other artists. Because mm-hmm. there's something about when an artist keeps it real. That's our yeah. space. That's where we are. Like you're doing, you, 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 you real. And when you come off with that whole, you know, thing of, of when we sit down with that self doubt, I know in my journey, self doubt was a big thing. And the emails that I get from artists, we realize that, hey, y'all, you're not alone. You're not the only ones with mm-hmm. self doubt. That comes with the artist package. Just like we just talked about, and I'm talking to the indie fam and positivity posse yeah. right now. You all know when you feel those times, ladies and gentlemen, when you like, and I, I see, I see the thumbs going up. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? When we write that melody, or we may, can I get really real with you? When we write that lyric, and we say, "Huh, I don't think anybody's gonna like this." <laughs> Boom. You've already equated it to what someone else may like yes. or not like of where you're at. Viv, please tell me tell me your thoughts of where I'm going with this. For real though, because like it's so easy to compare ourselves with others, right? Especially yeah. with you have so much social media and everything. But one thing that I realized when I was comparing myself, I was like, why is she doing that? It's like what happened to me? Like everyone is on their own path. And you do the same. Just follow your path and respect others. I used to actually hmm, like be like, er, like mm-hmm, when I saw mm-hmm. someone, you know, I'm like, I now you. I don't do that no more. It's like now it's got like you. energetically, I change uh-huh. that perspective. Like I'm gonna send them my blessings. You know, that's how you gotta oh, do, man. and not like not hate on nobody. You just yes. send the blessing, send them your blessings, I whatever it is, and then just move on and go on your path. Continue forward on your path. That's and it. then also, like, you don't need nobody's validation. Like, it's cool if someone says, oh, yeah, that's cool. I appreciate it. But you don't need someone's validation to move forward with, with what you're doing. As long as you're just doing what you love to do. That's all that matters. That's you know, right. someone's going to vibe with it. Oh, my goodness. Viv, say it again. <laughs> you are giving us the vivness today. And that's what <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it is. And I mean, the vividness is basically you are talking artistry. And this is what this is all about. We're sitting here understanding and feeling and being real with each other. Um, you know, because I can remember, like I just mentioned before, and when I, and, and, and hey, y'all, and listen, and you, and Viv, I'm sorry, I go back and forth talking no, to no the worries. fans. And the no, I like it. You know, hey, y'all, it's not going to, it's not going to go away. 
you just like Viv just said, you learn how to control it. You learn how to just deflect it. You know, you learn how to say, this is not where I'm going right now. I'm going to write what I'm feeling. I'm going to paint what I'm feeling. I'm going to, I'm going to do the movie script that I feel is going to be, be the movie script to tell this. I'm going to take that picture the way I'm going to take that picture. You are the artist. Do you, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. What Viv just said today is so on point. Viv, what was... You know, First, I know, and I don't want to put you on the spot real quick, but do you have anything musically that you can, I'm going to use your term, bless us with? Um, yeah, sure. I can sing a little bit from um, song number two, Give Me a Chance. Give Me is a Chance. Cool? Now, yeah, is this cause... from Rebirth? Yes. Yeah, so Rebirth can you please my tell us theme? the whole Rebirth yes. project? Yes. So Rebirth, it's pretty much my story. The first line of that first song, Rebirth, is I used to give all of myself and all I have to everyone in the world, which is what I was before, before my rebirth. You know, I give so much and I, it was draining and I was stuck in a melody. That's exactly what, it, what, the, what the lyrics are, because I was giving so much. I was stuck alone, stuck in a sea, in a melody. And with this whole creative spiritual process and going back to my roots, and really my ancestry, too, because all my ancestors, you know, God bless them, <laughs> they're all musically inclined, too. So I feel like I'm, I'm telling their story, too, in many ways. You know, it's, it's, it's such um, an honor. You know, and I feel, I feel their spirit. It's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. So yeah, that's pretty much, in a nutshell, <laughs> that's okay. rebirth. And I hope others, in listening to my music and listening to my story, I hope others will be inspired to just go through their own spiritual rebirth and just push through with what they're feeling, what their own story to tell, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Viv, come on, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Viv, the creator, the co-producer, <laughs> the co-writer, the curator, the inspiration for oh. the brand new project, Rebirth by Viv. We're going to get more into that rebirth, but please give us something that you oh, have. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Here. Um, yeah. How I feel when I see you smile makes my heart go wild. The smell of refined cologne sends tingles up my spine. I want you so bad, honey, you just don't know. I see you, I and me, let's give it a go. Tell my time, hold me close, cuddling. Now is the time, give me a chance, make it feel so good inside the woman in me. Give me a chance, make it feel so good inside. The woman in me. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Viv, you just hit it and quit it. You just left us with it. That's what you did right now. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank you. Viv, Thank you, have you. A, you have an incredible voice, Viv. I'm Thank saying that so from much. my heart. Thank you. You really do. You. Oh my God, look at the hands going up. Look at the excellent and the hearts and the, yay. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell y'all something. And you know that I'll give a commercial every 10 minutes, if I, five minutes if I can for our guests. But let me tell you something. You've heard her conversation. You, you're learning her heart. You're learning her spirit. Now you just heard her artistry. If it fed you, go download the music. Follow her on her social media. Support this artist and her artistry. If she's performing live somewhere, buy that ticket and go fill up one-on-one -on -one with it. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. You know me. When I Y'all know when I do this, I'm getting the bumps, the positive bumps <laughs> of what this show is giving us today. Erica, let me tell you, so while you were singing, your voice and your delivery transported me back to a time of, I'm going to say, the Laws Brothers, Hubert Laws, that music, that the Patrice Russian, the, the, uh, the, 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 the uniqueness of R&B soul 
where you could just almost just talk singing. Yeah. You're just talking singing, girl. How did you, yeah. what, what, and you already gave us your, your background of that, but in, in developing, you, when you listen back in your headphones of a take that you've done or, 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 or listen back to the final, you just told us about the production, the final production that you did, that you gave. I'm going to ask directly, are you proud of what you hear of yourself? I am super proud of what I do. Yes, extremely proud, 100%. Because I, I give it my all. You know, I just try my best. And I hope others will do the same. And it's really, when you say talking, singing, that took me a long time to do. It's really, really difficult because you have to be in the moment. And there comes a point from so many years of training where when you sing, you don't have to really think about it anymore. Like, okay, is it head voice or chest voice? Or it's more of like just feeling it and coming from the soul, coming from the, from the heart, you know? But that oh, took yeah. so, it was hard. It was, it was really hard. It's like, it's like breathing at that point, you know? Get it. But, yeah. How important is it for artists to be proud of themselves, Erica? Like it's you just so, important. you know? Because it fulfills your soul, you know. You you we want to do something that you're proud of, and that comes from stems from you, hundred percent. And that way, it'll hopefully inspire others to do the same, and also mm -hmm. do what they're meant to do. Because we have a choice, you know. We can continue with like everyday yeah. life, or you can like really put something out there to really increase the vibrations of the higher collective, you know, of everybody, yes. even yes. like opening yes. the door for a stranger, you know, for Starbucks or whatever, even that exchange and yes. giving a smile, hi, have a great day. Good morning. Even something so simple. Right. If you exchange right. even that, that's still like artistry of kindness. That's how I view my artistry. It's just being kind to yourself and being kind to others, like giving yourself mm -hmm. in that regard, you know, just showing mm -hmm. kindness. Oh man! So you know what I'm feeling the more there that I'm, I'm I'm feeling is that your artistry is definitely a mission for you. It's 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 I don't know. Please correct me because only you can give me the correct answer because it's you. But what I'm feeling is that through your artistry, you feel that it's something bigger than yourself. Right. Yeah. Am, am I am overthinking that? No, not when at I all. Because, like I said, you know, I think we all have a gift mm -hmm. from the universe, from God, whomever you believe in. We all have something to give. And it's up to you all if you want to take that, that chance or take, follow that path and really listen, listen to yourself, listen to your gut feeling, listen to your heart, and take that first step and make that decision. Okay, I'm going to do this, you know? Right? I, remember, I remember that story from Viv. Yeah. That girl, I think, was pregnant at 16. Dang. And she still did this, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, something like yeah. that. I just hope that my story will help others. Because it, it, it's hard work, but, you know, it's, it's super fulfilling. And it's not just me, but it's something that my whole family is proud of. And, you know, I, and I lean on them, too. Because, you know, I, here I am the artist. But, like, my family, my, my husband, our kids super inspired me to do this you know i'm not alone for sure it's a family effort you know <laughs> and even like the whole project like the whole ep rebirth um mm -hmm. last year so i i linked up with derek doa allen um he did the vocal productions for two of our songs and he's a very you know established r&b producer and, and bassist yeah so you know, talk about you know, shoot your shot. I reached out to yeah. him last year and said, hey, like, you know, because he worked with my brother, who's also a musician um, in the 90s, 2000s. So, you know, we're like family, you know, I'm like, hey, okay. you know, can you take a listen to my to my song, see what you think, help a sister out, you know, let, give me some right. feedback. And he listened. He's yeah. like, hey, babe, it's really good. I'm going to hook yeah. you up with a local producer that I know and my ne my now manager, Leigh. Um, and that's how what? I hooked up with them. Yeah, yes. and this was last year. And okay. since then, it's just been like a whole like grassroots family support. You know, yes. it's been wonderful I've, to be surrounded with so many individuals who just 
want to help me and support me and believe believe in this. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. it's right. a blessing. It's and it started like you like that's why I said in the first three minutes you just set it up. I just put my notes away. Because in the first three minutes, it was there because you, it, all of what you've given us right now, it started with Viv saying, you know what? It's time for a rebirth. And I've got to step out and do this. And then it just started like you just said, it just started. It's, you started. It, 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 you started it there. And then it began to develop. On and on. As that process developed, Viv, was it blowing your mind? Or was it, what was your mind every like day. Every, every day? Every day it blows my mind. Yeah, because it just, like you, like it just happens. And yeah. the, the way I think the universe works, it's like when you least expect it, okay. some, like bam, something opens. It's like, okay, thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. You know? <laughs> I'll take it. But, yeah. you know, yeah. I think if, right. you just, right. if you're just following what you you know, giving your gifts back. If you honor yeah. yourself, I think that's when doors and abundance just like happen. Doors open. And that's what it happens. Yeah. That's right. Somebody just said, what about the haters? I hate the haters. What <laughs> advice can you give? You know, that's so funny. <laughs> I I have a song that I, that I kind of wrote uh-huh. for haters. <laughs> okay. I was like, <laughs> oh, that's uh, fantastic. It's, it's funny. <laughs> it goes here. I'll sing it with us. I don't need your validation. I accept my li- I accept my, oh, I forgot the words. All right. And it goes, thank you for the hate. I don't mm-hmm. need your validation. I accept my something, something. <laughs> but it goes, uh-huh. thank you for the hate. So really? Thank yeah. your haters because they just push you to pivot and do a better job. Yeah. No one is going to like everything you do, and that's totally okay. As long as you're true to yourself and, like, again, don't hate them back, but just say, okay, send you my blessings and be on your way because <laughs> you don't want to get wrapped up in that because not everyone's going to appreciate you. And, again, you don't need nobody's validation as long as you're just following your heart. That's right. You know? That's right. Viv. You have given us what we needed today. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much. You got it. You got it. Your time uh, for, that you dedicated to us today. You, you've given us your artistry today. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, let me. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna restate it while Viv is here. Rebirth, and if I'm if I'm correct, is on all download formats, right? Yes. Download correct. the album. I'm yes. sorry, I showed my dinosaur age, right? We used to say album <laughs> back in the day. But listen, download the whole project, okay? Because Rebirth was born from this, this soul that we just talked to today. Yes. And that is the power of this type of a yes. format that we, we love to bring to you. Because if you enjoyed what Viv, Sister Viv has given us today, then there's no doubt that you're going to equally enjoy and be fed for what that what her project Rebirth is going to give and is already giving thousands of people from the journey that she started. And when she said, you know what? I think it's time to redo this again. She did it and is doing it. And she shared it with us today download follow buy the ticket and if i don't know are you open to collaborations because a lot of people have been there there's a couple of international collabs that are blowing my mind that's happened from this format are you open to collabs as well yes my manager here um hook up with my manager lee um her email is s like sergeant s like sam gt presents at gmail.com it's also located on my bio if you follow me on Viv Music Official. I don't. Viv Music Official, you official today, sister. Thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you so much. It was so much fun. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, it was. Peace and blessings now. Peace. Bye-bye. Blessings. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Sister Patricia and everyone else who joined us again today. Y'all, it happened again. The artistry came through, grabbed us, caressed us, 
tapped us, let us know and reminded us of who we are as artists, what our mission is independently and collectively. And that the main thing is that y'all, <laughs> it's who we are. We couldn't, we could, we could not be an artist if we tried. And though, like many of you, like myself, have tried not to give it, but we're here. It's who we are. And we're proud of what we do because the world needs artistry. And specifically, the world needs what you have to say through your artistic expression. We must give it because it's needed. Ah, love and respect to each and every one of you. Thank you once again for taking your time to join us here today on a Sunday live. And thank you for whatever day you may be joining us watching the recorded. Much love and much respect. And like I always say, ladies and gentlemen, come back and get some of this positivity on you. Take a bath in it. Take a shower in it. Scuba dive in it. Skinny dip in it if you want to. But just jump in that pool of positivity. And when you come out, sprinkle it on as many people as you can. Because that's what it's all about. And we're going to see you next time on the Victor Brooks Show Indie Fam Series right here on Instagram. See you then.